Hi everyone, Ashley here and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today's speed card making video will show how to make this fun slimline holiday card using the Merry Mice stamp set that Lawn Fawn just recently released as part of a kit with Chibitronics. So this card will actually also feature Chibitronics elements that will allow the card to light up in certain places which is really neat. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm starting by first stamping out all the images that I plan to use on this set that I haven't already stamped out before. And this is mainly the ones that come with the Merry Mice stamp set that Lawn Fawn just released with Chibitronics. So speaking of this kit, this is actually a collaboration kit between Lawn Fawn and Chibitronics, which used a Lawn Fawn stamp set and the Chibitronics light elements and provided enough supplies to make a card and a tag. If you want to see exactly what comes in that kit, I actually have an unboxing video on my channel. Um, which you can go watch by clicking that link up in the top right corner. And this will show you um, exactly the contents of the kit and what comes in it. I also went ahead and used the supplies from that kit to make the card that is designed with the kit. Um, if you want to check out that video, that is now linked up in the top right corner as well. So that was a really neat kit because not only did it come with all the supplies to make a card and a tag, but it also did come with this stamp set and also the coordinating dies which are completely reusable. So this is a perfect example of how you can use them on any other card that you want and it is a really cute set. And the neat thing about this particular set as well is that these mice are very similar in design to another stamp set that Lawn Fawn released this year which was called the Mice on Ice stamp set. That set had a bunch of cute skating mice <laughs> that looked very similar to these ones. So I'm actually using a mouse from that set on this card as well and they're very easy to use together which is awesome. So I'm just coloring in these images with my Copic markers and I don't think I really need to talk much about this because if you've watched any of my videos you'll kind of know my Copic coloring technique. Um, it's pretty standard and pretty basic but basically I just take a dark color in general and blend it out with a light color. Okay, so now it's time to start building the card. I've already gone ahead and cut out some pieces that will create the scene of this card. The top piece is a sky piece that I made with some pattern paper by Lawn Fawn. This is part of their watercolor wishes set. The second piece is a piece of white glittered cardstock that I cut with a hillside border die. That water piece is also from the watercolor wishes set and cut with a waves border die. And that bottom piece is the Gold Rush cardstock by Lawn Fawn, which is meant to look like sand. And again, I cut that with a simple stitched hillside border die. I just glued all those pieces together so that they're slightly smaller than the front of a card base. I'm sort of just arranging where I want the different elements of the card to go. And then I just colored in with a pencil through the holes of the star, um, one of the lights on the tree, and then the star on the seaweed tree. Basically, my plan was that I wanted lights to show through the star of the Christmas tree, one of the lights of the Christmas tree, and the star of the CB tree. I also knew I had to have the battery of the circuit directly below one of the presents, which I was going to stamp push here on, so that when somebody pushed here on the present, it would be pressing down onto the battery. So I just kind of drew it a rough circuit on the card base there, and I placed a little piece of paper that has a fold in it, and that's going to act as the switch. So basically, my negative side to my circuit will be laid down there on the bottom of the switch, and the battery will go on top of it. And then the positive side of the circuit will kind of layer over onto the top side of the switch, so that when you push the switch down, it actually pushes down onto the positive side of the battery and allows the circuit to light up. So I'm just laying up my copper tape here in the arrangement of the circuit that I drew out. Along the top there is where those two lights will be for the Christmas tree. So I'm just leaving a little bit of space so that the light can lie over the circuit and the negative side can be attached to one part of the tape and the positive side on the other. I'm then bringing the tape down to lay over the circuit switch. So like I mentioned before, that switch will actually have the positive side of the tape on it. So I'm just putting the tape and folding it over so that it does touch that battery beneath. I can then lay the battery into the switch. And I actually did make a mistake. I actually put the double-sided tape on top of the copper tape. So do not do this because then of course it blocks the copper tape and doesn't allow the battery to touch it. So you want to put the double-sided tape below the copper tape when you're taping your battery in. So I did go ahead and fix that up and then everything worked fine. So once you've got the circuit working, you can then adhere it to your card base there 
and then I'm just gonna, going to lay my card front on top. But I need to make sure that everything is elevated enough so that the switch does not just kind of go off on its own. It needs to have space so that the card front isn't pushing it down on its own. So I'm taking some foam and I'm just making sure that I make a nice sandwich around the switch to really give it dimension. And that way you'll really need to press down on that present to have the switch touch the battery. I actually double layered the foam. So um, I put two layers of foam all the way around this card and used double sided tape to connect it all together. Once that was done, I put the card front down and you'll see that when I press down in that bottom left corner there where that present will go, the whole circuit lights up so that those three lights come on. And those will make more sense, or the placement of those will make more sense when we kind of start building the card together. So now it's time to start assembling all of the elements onto the card. And for this I'm just using a mixture of glue and foam squares, sort of giving some elements some dimension with foam squares and just gluing other elements right down onto the card. I went ahead and stamped out the push here sentiment that comes with the Mary My stamp set right onto the present. And that will tell the person who gets this card that all they have to do is push on that present and the card will light up. I'm then arranging a few other images onto the card. I'd actually already went ahead and stamped and colored and cut out a bunch of these fish related images from before so I didn't have to do that for this video which is nice. It saved me a little time and I can just go right ahead and adhere them all onto the card. So like I said just using a mixture of liquid glue and foam squares here to kind of arrange all these cute little critters in the sea. And then on the top of the card, I knew that I had wanted um, there to be some of these mice that were decorating a tree as well as skating around. So I'm just placing the tree down there and making sure that it's aligned over the holes where the lights will shine through. So one of those lights will be shining through the star and one of them will be shining through an ornament, which is really nice. I can then go ahead and adhere the mice as well. So I'm just gluing them together with some liquid glue and popping them up with some foam squares onto the card front there. I'm just gonna pop ahead a little bit so you can see the rest of the card coming together. There's my skating mouse. And then to finish it off, I'm just adding a few sequins here and there to kind of add a little bit of extra shimmer and shine to the card. Oh, and I should mention that off camera, I actually stamped the sentiment right onto the card front. Hope your holidays are at the top and Mary and Brent at the bottom. So that is the card for today. I'm going to change it over to dark and you can see that when I press down on that present the lights really shine beautifully and it's a really really neat effect. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this speed card with the video and that you learned a little bit about Chibitronic circuits from watching it. Definitely feel free to ask me some questions down in the comments if you want to know anything else. To see more of my cards make sure to head over to my Instagram profile which is linked down below. And in case you didn't know, I do post videos here to YouTube at least once a week. So if I don't see you before, I'll see you in a week. Thanks for watching. Bye!